Toronto defenseman, but a member of the working Toronto press uh, here in the press box at Olympia, Fritz Cedarberg of the Toronto Telegram, and uh, you are dressed for worst up here. Well, you know, Bud, uh, outside of one game last year in the semifinals in Boston, this is the hottest time I've ever spent at a hockey game. And I sincerely mean that. And I'm not talking about the players being hot because they must be roasting, but up where it's really sweating. Well, now let's uh, get into a little discussion from the press as to your observations on the way this game and, let's say, the other overtime game developed. Well, Bud, there seems to be an amazing uh, duplicity. A duplication, I should say, in the two games. Uh, again, the Red Wings uh, are uh, exhibiting a tremendous show of uh, desire. They're skating. Uh, it's an old time Earl's Massar Carnival. Uh, he's got more legs out there than I'd say Buddy Glover. Like a young clerk at times. That's exactly it, but the two or three breakaway, he's got as far as the leap defense and uh, find he's, another driver. And he's moving, you know, he's. He's carrying a patch of golf back from a ration he comes right back again. The man fighting perhaps Lefty Wilson over there has got uh, oxygen going again. I don't know. It's too far for us. I wish they get some of the worst. <laughs> Good point. Fred and I, we press row here in the press box at Olympia. There must be a lot of conversation in a game uh, with so much tension. Uh, are the scribes themselves uh, sort of keyed up on the line here? Well, uh, strangely enough, uh, in this third period particularly, there was very little chatter around the press row. And, uh, very few notes. You know, it's been a funny game. You know, the two clubs have been playing it as if it was just another game in the Saturday. You know, it's been very little hitting. Neither club has been cautious. Uh, they're both skating. It's just, uh, oh, well, we'll meet the next week. Uh, you know, it was good thing. I don't know. It's the oddest Stanley Cup game I've seen for a long time. It much like the other time the other night. Well, that one the other night, it was not about if both teams had scoring opportunities again. The goalkeepers covered the big saves. Uh, and they're going to destroy tonight, too. Probably may all that. Yes, I think Johnny Barrow. It will be echoed everywhere that uh, Barrow and Sachuk will go down in the history of this year's playoffs while putting on the greatest display of goalkeeping under Al uh, pressure. Right? Right. Right. I, I was going to say that uh, without being charged with being a hunter, I think that Barrow has uh, stood out of uh, an elderly gentleman of hockey who once the miniature reject was suddenly arrived with the age will say, well, you've missed a 36 and maybe 38. But Johnny Barrett, in my mind, is as good a goalie as there was in the league today. Uh, Fred, I don't think you have to use the word Hummer to tell happy fans everywhere, and particularly the jammed audience here, have accepted the fact that Barrett has been tremendous, and it started not only at the start of the season, but particularly with that last game of the season against Detroit. He's been uh, going now for about five straight games. Fred Cedarberg of the Toronto Telegram.